Hi everybody, welcome to Codingpedia. Today I want to clarify a few things about the is keyword. As a beginner programmer, it's important to know what is is keyword, how it works, how it differs from equality operator, and when to use it. All right, let's jump into the code and see some examples. So what is is keyword? The official Python documentation says the operators is and is not test for an object's identity. X is Y is true if and only if X and Y are the same object. An object's identity is determined using the ID function. X is not Y yields the inverse truth value. But what does it do under the hood? As it was said in the documentation, it uses ID function to compare two objects' identities. To demonstrate, I'm gonna create two variables, A and B, both of them equal to 10. Let's print their memory addresses and use is operator to test if they are the same objects. Output printed the same address twice and printed true. If we change one of the variables to a different value, we should get different addresses and the identity comparison should return false. Let's rerun the script. Now output shows two different memory addresses and false. So conclusion is, if the memory addresses of two objects are the same, then identity comparison returns true, else it returns false. As we saw, it is very different than equality operator. Equality operator checks whether the values on either side of the operator are equal. On the other hand, identity operator checks whether two objects have the same memory address. Let's create two variables, C and D. For now, both of them equal to Codingpedia. Let's print their values, addresses, and comparisons using equality and identity operators. Let's run the script. As you see, output shows two same text, two same address, and true for equality test and true for identity test. So far, it seems it's working like equality operator. Let's change our code a little bit. I'm gonna remove half of the text from variable C and add that removed half here. If we rerun the script, we still have same texts, but two different addresses. That's why we got true for equality comparison result and false for identity comparison result. Quick tip, we can rewrite our identity comparison using equality operator. As it was said in the documentation, identity operator uses function called id to test if two objects are the same objects in the memory. With knowing that, let's call the id function and pass the objects to be tested and simply compare the return values of the id function using equality operator. And this line of code is the same as this line of code. So is keyword is just a syntactic sugar. Now we know what is is keyword, how it works and how it differs from equality operator. Next question is when to use it. When we want to compare if two objects are the same objects in the memory, we use identity operator. But if we want to test if two objects have the same value, we use equality operator. Let's say we have a variable called x and it equals to none. If it equals to none, we print it is none. If it equals to falsy values, we print it is falsy. Let's run the script. As you see, we got both of the prints. Because x is none and none is a falsy value. These are falsy values in Python. Let's go through some of them and see the results. As you see, it is none was printed only when x was none. Alright, that's it for this one. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and see you in the next you're one. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man. You must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're responsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop.